Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. And I'm gonna be showing y'all the best center builds in NBA 2K25 for every game mode, every play style for your play style so you don't waste bread. And I'm gonna be explaining it to you why these top three center builds are the top three center builds so you don't wanna skip this video or you will be wasting your bread. And you're not gonna understand the builds. So you're gonna say it's trash, but you gotta understand, man. You gotta listen. I'll be having a 95 plus win percent every year. I am the true build god on the two. Now make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. I'm gonna be putting y'all on with all the greatest builds in the NBA 2K25, best jump shots, best dribble moves, and the most hilarious gameplay, man. Y'all be sure to like the video. It took me a while to find these builds, okay? A thousand likes if you want gameplay on any of these builds. Okay, so let's break it down. The first build, y'all are gonna lose your minds over, bro. But what you don't understand is they nerf taller builds overall, right? They nerf taller builds overall, so you get less attributes. You can't have poppers of the past that were defeated offensive and all you could do all this stuff gotta pick and choose now this one that i'm about to show y'all is the meta one okay this is like the meta park stage proving grounds for the threes and the twos i know y'all gonna be like that when, when you have a bigger center you have weakness okay you ain't gonna be able to guard nobody <laughs> <laughs> You're cuck. Okay, but we're gonna show you some bigger centers also. Yeah, there's people actually using these builds like comp, 2K league, stage, everyone, and they, they're they doing fine. Okay, I'm gonna give you the best version of the souls. Okay. Now, even if you use this build for the fives, it can play the four spot perfectly. It's a perfect four spot build. It can, it's it's good enough. So first, we want to bring this close shot up to 72. Um, Certain stats, guys, I know y'all be critiquing these builds. Certain stats, they have to go up. They just tether together, man. Now look, low layup. I know a lot of y'all, y'all casuals, negative win percents. Oh my God, you have a low layup popper. Guys, when you make a popper, you have to sacrifice your layup. Your job is to play defense, rebound the ball, and shoot. It's not to lay up the ball, okay? You're tripping. Why would you upgrade that? It don't make sense. The drive and dunk, it goes up automatically. Now look, this stand and dunk is going to give me rise up on silver. And I'm gonna get some contact dunks that I like. Matter of fact, let me start from here. Let me let me let me let me start from the bottom. Wait, hold on. Let me put the post control where it need to be. Post control 57. It it makes it go up, guys. Let me start from the bottom. Okay. 77 vert. Okay. To unlock badges and contact dunks. Your strength is going to be a 91. You're going to be able to use cat breakers for this and then get purple brick wall. Okay. Agility is a 77, okay? You're gonna be much faster than most centers, okay? Now your speed is an 85, okay? You're gonna have slippery off ball. It's very good, especially as a popper when you have to pop and decks and do all that type of stuff, set a screen and, you know? So you're gonna, and you're also gonna be able to guard ball, you know, move around, get wiggly. Now look, your defensive rebound, 96. Hall of Fame rebound chaser, okay? They're all offensive, 74. I did want more, but you gotta sacrifice. You're gonna have box out beast and pogo stick also. Now your block, 84. I would want more, but you gotta sacrifice. Now look, your steal, you low key a popper lot because for most centers, you can't get all of this, okay? You're gonna have gold interceptor, okay? You can't make big poppers that like, you know, have all this stuff that I, that you about to see. You're gonna have glove interceptor. Most centers, they're not able to get this unless, unless they make a build like that. Now your perimeter, 85. So you're gonna be able to switch on ball. Again, most centers you see aren't gonna be able to have all these badges. This is why people are going shorter with the centers. Challenger, you you won't even see that on the bigger centers, boy. Man, but look, you got silver challenger, on ball menace silver, pick dodger, a movable enforcer gold, off ball pest gold, you feel me? Got a little bit of interior. Now look, your pass act, it's a little low, but you gotta sacrifice, my boy. 65. That back to the 55. Huh? Hey, you're shooting your free throw 70. Y'all let me know what y'all's lowest free throw is that you're actually hitting with on the game. Now look, 78 three point. Okay, you're gonna understand why everyone's missing, right? But here's the sauce, right? You're gonna make that midi a 87, right? Now the thing is, if T Mac is still 87, now on this popper, you're gonna have the best jump shot in the game. Okay, that's very good. Unless they nerf the shot or whatever but you're gonna have the best jump shot in the game to make shooting easier. If people are struggling with shooting, this is how you can make shooting not struggle as much. You get dead eye, set slot specialist, 
and shifty shooter. You're going to be able to bail out your guard. Guards moving slower. You're going to be able to grab the ball, fade at the midi, fade more often than, you know, bigger centers. And you get a little bit of break starter and dimer with your passing. So this is the first build. Y'all let me know what y'all think. That goddamn Sean Marion. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Look, look at the build name. I don't know if this is rare or not. Y'all let me know if y'all like the build name, if this is rare or not. Two-way board hunting stretch. I think this is a cool name. Shout out to uh Zach. I don't I didn't think I ever seen this. Now this second build, okay? This took a little bit of mind work to really figure out that sauce. This is one you're gonna have to pay attention to, okay? Seven foot to 253, seven seven wingspan. We're gonna start at the bottom, okay? 80 vert, okay. This is gonna unlock badges. It's gonna give you some posterizer, okay? You need that damn posterizer. You're gonna be posterizing. Now look, 91 strength. You're gonna be able to use your cap breakers to get the purple, okay? 55 agility. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Who you really guarding like that? That's what that's what I'll be trying to tell you. Look, 67 speed, okay? People are slower, so you know. know. Look, here's another thing. This is more this is a, like a long haul build, also. Because you could cap break your defensive to then get Ruby rebound chaser. Feel me? So th this is like this build. It's going to have a lower offensive rebound. I did want it to be higher, but you can't get Hall of Fame rebound chaser and then get the potential to get the Ruby rebound chaser. I think the Ruby rebound chaser will make up overall compared to others for the offensive side, to be honest. So, I mean, it's worth a try. Who knows? Now look, you block a 84. Look, I know. I do want, I did want it to be higher, but you got to sacrifice, okay? You seven foot. If you can't get stops, you seven foot, this crazy wingspan, all this strength, got some silver stopping badges, you're cooked spiritually. Now look, also, when you get your cat breakers, this is another thing you could cat break. You can cat break this and get 88 block, and then you get this on gold. We're going to find out later if this is really the one, but silver is a good place to start at. When you first make your builds, gold could be the one. So you figure that out, this could be something you go for to make your build more, you know, viable. But like if I was the cap break, and by the way, you're not going to get cap breakers unless you're a no life. You're probably only going to get five cap breakers, the average guy. I would say go for rebound chaser most often, but we're, we're going to find out more. People are going to test this stuff. And yeah, so I mean, you could probably cap break the damn brick wall. It's between them three. I mean, pro probably the purple brick wall, but we, we're going to find out later on, you know, just just keep your keep your ear to the streets. We gonna find out which is what's more M, you know, Hall of Fame brick wall or Ruby rebound chaser or gold paint patroller. And you, you know, you gonna find out. Now look, 60 steel, okay? Look, you only get 60 steel. This is why like people are going six, seven. No perimeter. You can't have perimeter. <laughs> you just can't. Look, Terrier D, it post lockdown. Now look, here's the excellent thing about this build. Yes, Hall of Fame break starter, silver bailout, versatile, Visionary, don't be a leaker, Hall of Fame Dimer. And then when you get this badge up, right? If you want to cap break this, Ruby Dimer, you know? These are all your possibilities that you can figure out later. This is a build you can really cap break to be something. Yeah, say so you get a board, you'll be able to hit people decks in way easier, all the leaks. That's the most important part of the game, right? And you're gonna be able to shoot, bro. Don't think you won't. 76 three point, I know, low, right? But look, here's what we going to do, right? Now look, we're going to get one of the only shooting takeovers with this three point. And we got the 78 midi to get set sock specialist on silver. You know, that's a bunch of badges tied together. Catch and shoot, set shooter, uh, a bunch of badges, like three, four badges. OK, so it's important to have it like that. You have a 73 free throw. Now, look, you stand and dunk 90 gold rise up. And look, you don't get you don't get up. You unlock the best dunks. Got gold rise up, gold aerial wizard. Okay, look, you even got driving dunk, eighty seven, a seven footer. Okay, this is why you had to do certain things. Now look, you're gonna be more deadly with your rise up because now you got posterizer on silver. This is a pretty top tier footer build. You know, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the build. Here is the build name inside the art. Okay, so it's going to be clickbait. They're not going to know you're going to be able to shoot. Now, look, I'm going to give you an alternate reality of that build. I don't like this build better than the other build, but some people might prefer it. Some people might prefer it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the finish in the same. Uh, We're going to knock up the free throw. Hold on, let me go here. You're going to knock down your defense. Now you're going to bring your offensive rebound up, okay? 
94, then 83. That's how it's going to look. But the thing is, you're going to get only gold rebound chaser. You would have to get your cap breakers to then get the Hall of Fame rebound chasers. But you won't get the chance to get the ruby badge. But y'all might prefer that. That could be more of the sauce. And then you'll bring your free throw up to 75. And it's basically the same build. You just upgrade your free throw and you you switch the uh, rebound somewhat. But yeah. Here's that damn build name. Now look, click the video on the screen if you want to see the best lockdowns in NBA 2K25, okay? Y'all let me know down below what other builds you would like help with, okay? Or what other things you want to see. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome.